Are you an aspiring Salesforce professional or someone who want to start their career or switch their career in Salesforce or a fresh graduate who want to learn about Salesforce or just a trailblazer who loves learning? You are at the right place and this specific course is actually built for you. Welcome to Salesforce Associate Certification Course, a beginner's guide to Salesforce. My name is Amit Kumar and in this specific video, I am going to explain you about the course and how you can efficiently utilize this specific course for your benefit. So what are we waiting for? Let me show you this course and what you will get in this specific course. Now as this course is for the preparation of Salesforce Associate Certification exam, the sections of this course is actually divided according to the objective of the examination. As you can see, this course is divided into 10 different sections. If I talk about section 1, it is going to give you an introduction to the Salesforce itself and provide you with all the prerequisite tools that you would need for the learning and practice of Salesforce Associate Certification exam. Now the Salesforce Associate Certification exam is having four different objectives and section 2, 3, 4 and 5 is according to that objective. Now Salesforce ecosystem is having 32% weightage in the examination and in this specific section you will come to know about the whole Salesforce ecosystem. Section 3 is actually talking about navigation in Salesforce which is the second objective of the examination containing 28% of weightage of the exam. Here you will learn all those concepts which is required to navigate efficiently in Salesforce. Salesforce data model is the third objective of the examination with 25% of weightage and in this section you will come to know how data is organized in the Salesforce and how you can do the data modeling for your specific requirement. And finally section 5 is talking about reports and dashboards where you will come to know how you can build reports and dashboards in Salesforce for the efficient analysis and decision making with the data. Of your business. Now in all these four sections I have provided assignment for you where each assignment is having 6 to 12 different tasks assigned to you. In these assignments I have provided you trailhead modules according to that specific section which you can follow and complete the modules over there so that you can get more confident about that specific topic. Now if you are on any specific assignment, a specific time is allotted to you. Now each assignment is having an estimated time to complete that. Now don't panic by watching the time to be 600 minutes. Actually I have mentioned here estimate time which includes the time to complete the trailhead modules as well. Don't worry about the tasks, tasks will not take that much of time to complete but the trailhead modules will definitely do that. Now not only assignment, I have provided a quiz in each section so that you can test your understanding about that specific section. Now we all know that to concrete your understanding, you should get your hands dirty on the topic and the concept that you have learned. For that only, I have provided two different projects over here which will give you real life scenarios how Salesforce is utilized in the business world. In section 8, I have provided you some tips for the Salesforce associate exam, how you can prepare for that specific exam, what are the things you should focus on and what are the things you should ignore. And then I have provided you two separate practice tests each containing 40 questions so that you can get a glimpse of how the Salesforce associate exam will be and what type of questions you will get in that specific examination. In section 9, I explained you what could be the next steps once you complete this course and once you attain your Salesforce Associate certification and what would be the next step you, that you should follow in your Salesforce career path. The last section which is additional resources is having 4 articles for your quick revision of the whole course, glossary of terms and official Salesforce links provided to you for the additional study resources. And I have also shared you a PDF resource in this section which will help you to track your progress in the Salesforce certification exam preparation journey. So what are you waiting for? Just fasten your seat belts and get ready for this exciting journey of Salesforce. That's it in this specific video. See you soon in the other videos of the course. That marks the end of this video. See you soon in the next video in the course itself. Thank you and take care.